This video shows creating and printing 3D design for the Arduino clock project. This video in no way explains electronic circuit behind it, nor it discusses Arduino code. But it is still fun to watch. I started the clock project in question in this video. I was planning to build a digital clock using MAX7219 chip to control four large custom seven segment displays. I designed the PCB for it, I ordered it, then I soldered on the LEDs and other components. I even printed the front panel for the clock. But I was not thrilled with the result. The segments were unevenly lit. So in this video I'll try to come up with a better design. If you want to see what I came up with, stick around. At the beginning there was nothing. Then came the seven segment display design, which by the way I found in the internet. I opened this picture in Inkscape and traced it to the stack of eight vectors representing different shades of grey. Pick the best one and removed all the other ones. Then I saved it to SVG format. I opened this file in Tinkercad and using it as a reference I created this design of individual segments. I of course adjusted the size so it fits the size of the custom PCB. Also I had to do few adjustments to the shape. One thing I had to make sure is that uh, I have 3 mm distance in between segments. If I ungroup this shape that will give you an idea how much effort I had to put into this final design. The object can now be saved in STL format and we can then open it in Cura. Here it is. Before we can slice it, I need to change the build plate adhesion type to brim. With large amount of small objects to print, this is making sure that they all stick to the build plate and do not come loose. Let's slice it and check out the preview of the print. You can see the brim and then segments emerging from it. Let's print the real thing. Done. The brim also keeps all the segments together so I do not mix them up. So we have segments out of the way. Next we need the front panel onto which we would mount these segments. Let's have a look at the panel for a single digit first. As you can see I printed tiny pins that will ensure that I would glue the segments in exactly the right place. We go through exactly the same steps, saving it to STL format, opening in Cura and slicing it and finally sending it to the printer. Now we have those two objects printed, a little magic and this is the final effect. I wrote a simple code that would show how those segments look when lit. Now that looks cool. So having the front panel for a single digit, let's build the panel for a whole clock. We want this to be the same size as our PCB. Apart from four digits, we also need a colon. This is going to be fairly long print, so let's make sure I got the sizing right. I took the photo of the PCB and traced it to the vector, just like I did for the seven segment design. I can open the vector in Tinkercad and see if all LEDs would fit into the segment slots. Looks like they do. So let's get this design to the printer. Again, same routine. Save to STL format and then slicing in Cura. This is already printed version. It took over two hours to print. I have changed the color of the panel to black, so the lit segments would be more distinctly visible. So again, this is our panel, and those are four sets of segments we will need to super glue on. Let's crack on, shall we? 
you can see the sneak peek of similar project I did that was actually in the first video on my channel. I would like to think I came a long way in those two years, as this project would be more complex and difficult on design, electronic and also on programming level. The last thing we need to do is to glue on the two dots. Now that we have a front panel out of the way, we need to build the clock case. Here is the design I created. You see the place to mount the front panel. Also, you see the mounting hole for the power button. The lid closing the case would slide into those four holes. Then I have five mounting slots. Those two would be used to hold the front panel and the PCB in place. Those two would allow me to mount the stand if needed. And this one will help me to mount additional push buttons that will be used to set the time, maybe set the alarm, etc. Let's export it and slice it in Cura. This is a 4 hour printing job, so I would capture just the beginning of the print and leave it running overnight. This is early morning, let's see if the printout was successful. There is nothing worse than to find out that your 4.5 hour print failed one hour after it has started. Looks ok. It printed quite nicely, let's see if the front panel fits into the case. It does. Now let's put in the PCB with soldered LEDs and mounted Arduino Nano and 7219 module. I use those printed bolts to make sure panel and PCB will stay in place. In this video I will not connect PCB to RTC module. I will also not write the code for the clock. All this would be done in the next video in this series. What I would do is a dry run of the display using the two short programs I wrote before. One will go through all the segments, litting them one by one. The other one would count from 1 to 9999, giving us good idea how the digits would look on that display. The segments were all properly lit, one by one. Let's now load the code to count to 9999. Looks great. The digits have a desired 3D look. As always, it is tricky to film it as the LEDs are quite bright. One thing I'm actually not that pleased with is the color of the LEDs. As in bright sunlight, sometimes the digits are not as clearly visible and recognizable. But no worry, this is just a prototype. I have already ordered red and green sets of straw hat LEDs and they are making their way from China to Poland. I think this clock would look great in my living room. This is it. Hope you enjoyed this video and it will inspire you to create similar projects but with different segment designs. If you did, like this video. If you are not a subscriber, become one. And if you want to support my channel, the links to my Patreon website are in the description below. I will see you in my next video. Bye.